Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got bases loaded lacquer. No high fives allowed. I'm starting off with Neltix Formula 2 and then using Anchor and Hearts Iron Base Coat. And then bases loaded lacquer. No high fives allowed. Isn't that gorgeous? Ugh. It's beautiful, beautiful polish, especially for this time of year. I love that it's got those like purple chrome metallic flakies and they're multi-chromes they shift and then there's like scattered hollow and all kind of good stuff in this one so we're going in with our first coat and yes i'm back to nubs i'll explain in a later video um what's been going on here but you know sometimes it's okay to just have nubs anytime really and they look so good painted hi woody how you doing so here we go. We're going to go in with a second coat of No High Fives Allowed. And this is from her anniversary, Indieversary. It's uh, part of the collection. I'm going to top it with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. I'm going to get it to dry down so we can do some stamping. Of course. Of course we're going to stamp. Silly. So um, I'm going to cap my little bitty free edge there. I was grateful that I did have a little bit of free edge. So there's a swatch photo of it on its own. I'll be using CC and Sissy 10 today. We're going to get the blue film off of it and get it cleaned up and ready to use. I'm going over it with pure acetone and then I like to wipe it with a paper towel. Just kind of takes care of some of the smudgies. I've got my monocle stamper out and generic scraper. I'll be using Shut Out by Braves Diva which is now Bases Loaded Lacquer, so there's going to be a lot of back and forth because I own a lot of the Braves Diva polishes. So it is the same maker, just a name change. So I'm going all Halloween with this one. We're just going to stamp everything in white today. Um, I didn't fill up to any, you know, advanced stamping. We're going to clean that off on the lint roller real quick. And I'm not going to clean the plate. I'm just going to move around and pick up different images and I'll clean the plate at the end. Unless I need to clean it before then. Then, you know, like if I've covered up one I want to use, I'll jump in and do it. I'm using that little piece of tape to get up the excess that I do not want stamped onto my nail. So I've got a little bat and moon and star. That's cute. And then we're going to do with this ghosty looking face. Big stretched out. Oh! That's crazy. And since these nails are so short, you know, I am having to pick images that I think will work. <laughs> of course, you know, you really can just do whatever your imagination tells you to. There are no rules. Okay, I don't think that's... Got, yeah, I'm going to have to clean that one off. That one I scraped too hard. It happens. So here we go with another dollop of polish and scraping easier lighter sometimes I get a little heavy-handed and I think we all do that at times so we just do it again got our grim reaper going on the ring nail and then we get to do one more I think I'm gonna do this little jack-o-lantern he, he looked kind of little on the plate but watch this when he goes on my nail he looks huge <laughs> That's what happens when I shorten my nails. It takes me a minute to adjust. So I'm going to finish this off um, cleaning up this plate. I am cleaning it again with pure acetone and wiping over with a paper towel. I'm going to flip that cotton ball over and get it wrapped up. I do like to put my plates away clean, but it doesn't always happen. You guys know when we get to play in sometimes it's like a kid in a sandbox. So I'm going to go in with a piece of tape and get up this excess off my skin. There wasn't very much of it. And now I'm going to top it with a smudge free top coat from Maniology. Get that to dry down. And next we're going to use Posh as our final top coat. It's going to make it glossy and shiny and make it dry down quick. I'm going to cap my free edge here. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. 
I always love hearing from you. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.